Alright, today I'll be teaching you guys how to make a text-based RPG in Python. So, what we need to get started with first is we need an IDE, and what I chose was Cloud9 because it's portable and you can see your program anywhere, wherever you are, as long as you have, you know, access to a browser. I don't think it supports mobile, though. That's the only downside. But yeah, you want to have to, like, transfer your files using, like, thumb drives or anything like that. So if you haven't already done this, then you need to install Python on your computer. So you can do this by going to python.org, clicking downloads, and then for this we will be using Python 2.10, 2.7.10. So yeah, let's start. So the libraries we'll be using first is um, sys and OS and I'll describe this what this does later if you don't already know so uh, we need to create a class called player and in this class we need to find a function called init self name so basically what init is is instantiate and this creates all of the variables that the player has when it's called when this class is called and basically whenever you call the player the player needs a name whenever you call it because I mean who doesn't have a name and you just and you, whenever you're calling it you just you need know, to put this just to signify that it's I don't know you just need, you just need to put that just remember that so then we can put self because we're in the local function we're in the local method dot name will equal name and I guess that'll be a user input thing later self dot max health will equal 100 self dot health will equal max health and this is only when that thing's called so these are everything's default right now self dot um, hmm what does player need attack equals for now I think we can just put 10 10's alright and I think that is for now that should be good for the player I don't think we'll need anything else really so then we can define another function called main. And it takes no arguments, so that's why the, uh, these are blank. And then uh, we'll do if name. Or I guess we don't need to do that, but we'll just do main. So basically it'll look through this entire code, and then once it gets to the bottom, it'll go to main this. And you need this, or else your program won't do anything. So find main, and we can do print, um, welcome to my game, and print statement if you, don't, if you don't already know Python, then this basically means it's just going to print something out to the screen. And this, if you did something like this, it would just be skipping a line, I guess. But if you don't want to do that, there's a thing called escape sequences, and you do that in strings by making a backslash. And then this would be tab, this would be how you print a backslash. But n means new line. So if you want to create a new line, then you do backslash n. And basically, it's the same thing as this. So it's skip a line, and then print one, uh, we'll do start, two, load because we will be having a saving system. And for three, exit. And we also need to get user input. So the way we'll be doing this is option, and I chose whatever arrows up here. Oh yeah, these we do not need. Java habits. Huh, undefined variable max health. 
Oh, self dot max health. Option equals will equal raw underscore input, and we'll put an arrow right here and then space. So basically, what this means is we're defining an we're defining a variable called option, and we're setting it equal to the user's input. And this just is what the user sees to know that's user input, basically. Uh, I'll show you in a second. So what we could do is, um, we also need logic. So if, we'll create an if statement. If option equals equals, and you need two equals because it's a conditional. You're not setting anything, you're checking something. Equals equals one. Then what do we want to do? Well, we want to go to start. L if so in Python instead of else if there is L if which is basically just shortened else if so if this is false then it goes out and checks everything else until it's true so if option equals equals two then you know we want to go to load but for right now we could put pass and basically what pass means is it won't do anything it just looks right over it pretty much. And I'm putting pass right here because we're not going to make the load feature till way later. And it's saying undefined variable start, so we haven't defined it yet. And l if option equals three, then uh, we're going to do sys dot exit system exit, and that basically will exit the program. And what else what we also need is else, an else statement. So if these are all false, and say they type in like four or something, I don't know why they do that. Then um, what you could do is main. So for example, Python RPG tutorial dot pi. Welcome to my game. So if you type in like J. It, see, it goes back straight to the function. And if you type in start, it will give you an error because we haven't declared it yet. And uh, so, yeah, this will basically be the main, the beginning of your game.